Hi there, welcome to this quick equipment tip. And this one's about winter greens and how many of you actually struggle to change from those nice, firm, quick greens that you get in the summer to the slow, dewy, soft greens that you get in the winter. And there's many things that it's actually quite a hard transition to make. You might not even realize it. You might not even kind of put two and two together, but we have to hit it a little bit harder. We tend to, when we hit it a bit harder, you're a bit more tense. Um, you tend to hit a little bit more down on the stroke, all these things that are changing from what you're doing in the warmer weather on the quicker greens. And I just wanted to give you a couple of ideas that might actually help. You could actually amend your equipment in order to help make that transition a little bit easier. All right, so I've got a putter here. I'm, I'm standing on a, a soft green, a winter green. It's a bit dewy. It's, uh, what's the time? It's, uh, it's 10 to three in the afternoon. Um, and I've got a putter here. Now, what you, one of the things you can do, I mean, bear in mind that the grass is a little bit longer on the winter greens. They don't cut it as short for obvious reasons. Um, and in order to make the ball roll nicely, roll end over end, actually one of the things you need to do is get the ball up on top of the grass a little bit more quickly, okay? So what you actually need to do is actually hit the ball with more loft. Now, you can either try and do that from a technique point of view, which I don't really advise, or you can actually get your putter yep, and have it bent in terms of loft so it's a little bit more lofted. Your same stroke will launch the ball a little bit higher, get it on top of the grass and get it rolling end over end so it's running more quickly, it's not jumping, hopping, skipping quite as much as it would do if you didn't have as much loft on it. And bear in mind in the winter you tend to hit at it a little bit harder and you get a little bit more down into the, into the ball on many occasions, you're doing kind of a double disservice. You've got the same loft and you're hitting more descending. That's gonna hit it into the grass, it's gonna jump, it's gonna hop, it's gonna skid. Um, it's very unlikely to get good distance control and it's probably not gonna stay online either. So that's one thing you can do to your existing equipment, make it a little bit more lofted, okay? The second thing you can do in terms of equipment is actually you might want to make the head a little bit heavier. Now this is a little bit crude, but one of the things you can do if you want to keep your existing equipment and make it more appropriate is if you feel like you haven't hit it harder, sometimes a bit of extra weight can help. So you can actually put some lead tape on your putter, be very careful where you put it on, okay? Because if you put it in the wrong place, actually can, can affect the dynamics of the putter quite dramatically, okay? But a little bit of extra weight, maybe down positioned. So on this one here, it may be positioned down here, okay? Or on these little strips here, a little bit of lead tape every two inches is going to be at about another uh, couple of grams and that'd be another swing weight heavier okay a little bit of extra weight can feel like you don't have to hit it quite as hard it can take some of the tension away it can make the impact a little bit more efficient okay you've got more weight behind the ball yeah it makes the ball more efficient comes off more quickly so there's a couple of things that you can do to the putter in order to make it maybe more winter friendly more winter um, yeah, more winter appropriate, shall we say. The other thing you can do, of course, is you can look at your golf ball. You might want to go for a slightly firmer golf ball. The greens are obviously softer. They're probably gonna hold better in this sort of weather. So if you hit it into the greens, it's not gonna run on and hop on as much. So you don't need a ball that spins quite as much. But if you've got a ball that sounds a little bit louder, once again, you don't feel like you have to hit it hard to hear the shot, to hear the strike. Um, and once again, that takes a little bit of the hit out of um, your stroke and makes it a little bit smoother. All right, so um, a firmer golf ball could be the way to go in terms of making your winter putting that much more effective. All right, so listen, I hope that helps and I'll speak to you soon.